Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great day because it's just going to get better, right? Glad to you are here. And we're just going to work that body. So we'll start off with some warm ups, okay? So let's do those wonderful air squats, okay? You're just reaching those fingers forward, right? And bringing those hips back. Inhale, exhale, make sure you're breathing. Good. And we'll just do about three more of those. And we'll get the heart pumping. We'll do some um, star jumps because we're all superstars, right? <laughs> Good. Inhale, exhale. And if you are not able to jump, you can always just bring the legs out, okay? So go and work that body. And we'll just do a couple more on each side. Good. And roll those shoulders, get them nice and warmed up. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Take those big inhales, big exhales. Let's go the other way. And we'll work a little bit on coordination. One back, and the other one forward. Good. And we'll go the other way. Very nice, very nice. Let's stretch our arms out, and then bring it back. Out and back. You can make a little C curve if you like. Uh, feet can be hip distance apart, or you can keep your back nice and straight. Okay. So what it feels um, appropriate for your body today. Yeah, we'll just do a couple more. Good. And we'll just stretch to the side and stretch the other way. Good. Good. And we'll do some squat punches, okay? So you're taking the squat and punch and punch, 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 punch. Good. Get that rotation going. Feel that heart rate coming up. Good. Warming up the body. Very nice. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Good. And we'll just do about three more on each side. and then come to center. Okay, so we're gonna do a series of exercises here. We're gonna start with the squats, okay? Squat sides, okay? I'm gonna stay off my blankets or my mat. So you're taking a squat, and then you're gonna kick this leg out to the side, okay? Squat and take it up. So just try that. Your hands can be by your heart, or they can by, be by your hips, okay? Wherever it feels comfortable, and I'd rather you take it slow and really have that form, because when you go slow, you can really feel the work being done, okay? And then, for those who want a little bit more, you can point, flex, point, flex, and come back down, okay? So it's your workout. Do what feels good for you, okay? And keep that feet flexed. Good. Feel that heart rate going up. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. And we'll just do a couple more. Good. One last one. And then from here, we're gonna lie on down on our backs. We're gonna do um, the hollow. We'll start off with the hollow. So you're lying down. Hands can be, palms can be facing up and your head is up. And if this is enough for you and you really feel those core, you can just stay there if you want to. The full hollow is bringing that leg up. And then when you get tired, you can come down and rest. And then pop back up when you're ready to come back up. It can be here or here. And if you have neck issues, you can just bring the legs up 
It's a little bit harder, so you may want to start with the legs here and then work your way here, okay? So find, find that perfect spot for you today. And if you feel too much in the neck, just keep the head down, okay? So we're going to build upon that. We're going to do some frogs, okay? Palms can be down to really anchor everything, and we're going to have our feet together and their wide knees, and then we just press out. So you can start off with just pressing up to the ceiling. And if that's too easy for you, you just press out more at a diagonal. But you want to make sure those ribs are nice and tight. Core is working, okay? You can put your hands right there and you can feel those core muscles working. Right. And really press it out. Pull it in, press it out. Let's do three more. Good. And we'll start out at the top again. We're going to start with those um, squats and going out to the side, OK? So here we go. Down and up down and up. And for those who have balance issues, if you want to stay on one side and just do about five to 10 on one side, you can. I really feel those muscles working, right? <laughs> Good. And we're getting the heart rate up. Feel the uh, glutes working. And I'm going to go to the other side and see how that feels. Good. Long as you're moving your body, it doesn't have to be a huge movement. Once again, if you have balance issues, you can always do this with the wall. Okay, breathing. And you're gonna breathe. Get that heart rate moving. Good. And a couple more. Good. And last. Good, so we're gonna go back to the hollow frog, okay? So making those beautiful hollow movement, right? Nice and squeezing everything to the center. Sounds like an easy thing to do until you actually try to do it. So the legs are hugging together, everything's sucking in. And if that's too much, just bring your head and just hold it. And if that's a little too easy, you can just bring one foot up and one foot down. Always lots of options. And we'll just hold it there for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. And then from there, we'll go back to those little froggies, okay? Heels are together. We're gonna to turn to this way for a different view. And you're just gonna press it out. Press it out. Okay. And remember, you can always start just shooting it up to the ceiling. And then if you feel nice and connected with the core, just push it out. High 45 maybe. And for those who have bricks for core, <laughs> you can go all the way down. <laughs> so just make sure everything is nice and connected. And you can do different variations. You can bring it out, push, and come back in. Okay? And the head can come up if it feels good. You can even reverse it. Now we'll just do a few more. And five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to go back up into the squat and to the side, right? So here, remember, you can just step out if that's the case. 
if they feel um, a little wobbly. And once again, just shooting the leg out, coming in, shooting the leg out, and just go to where it feels good. Whew. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Good. Remember, you can do those point and flex, and you can stay on one side and just kick. Okay? So, if it's too much to go up and down, keep that leg up and kick. Good. Nice balance work. You can stay down low. So the purpose of this is just to get that heart working and you want that beautiful form. Maybe have that foot flex, kicking that foot. Just get that side muscle working, inner thighs. And we'll just do a few more of those. Inhale, exhale, good. And let's do three more on each side. Ooh, I'm getting a little wobbly there. <laughs> That's okay. We're building strength. And one more. One more. Good. And then from here, let's go down and do one more uh, hollow frog. Okay. So we're here. And if you want more, you can always come up and down, up and down. If that's too much, bend your knees, okay? So as we do this the third time, you're a little bit more connected, then you might be uh, feeling a little better and you need a little bit more challenge. You can do that or just hold the, hole, the hollow hole. <laughs> and just hold it, feel the core muscles. Sort of like a little soap dish, right? And then come down. And reach out. And we'll go back into those frogs and press. Okay, if you feel really strong, you can add a little, a little crunch to it. A little crunch, a little crunch, a little crunch. Good. Reaching up to the ceiling if you like. You can always open those legs and you get a nice stretch in the back and in the inner thighs. And reverse it if you like. Moving the body. Lots of different options. Should be getting nice and warm in the body. And We'll just do five more and four more and one more. Good. Hug those knees. Give yourself a nice little hug. Maybe rock side to side. And let's turn the head from one side to the other. Good. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go on all fours, okay? Making sure everything is nice and connected, that you're looking down at the ground. And feel the length in the spine, head reaching one way, tailbone reaching the other. And then we can have the hands, opposite hand, opposite leg here, okay? You can go up and down. So the goal is to keep those hips from rocking. And let's do 10 more. And one last one. And we'll just hold it there. Find those shoulder blades down. Reaching down towards your hips. Nice and steady. 
reaching, 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 and relax. Push back, just to stretch those lower back muscles. Okay, and once again, we'll set everything up. It's all in the setup. Lean your wings down, core pulling up to the sky, and find that length in the spine. Get as long as you can. Get the shoulders away from the ears. One more breath. And when you're ready, opposite arm and leg, okay? You can go up and down. You don't have to touch the floor. You can if you want to. And I really want you to work on keeping those hips nice and still and trying to keep everything um, nice and solid as you move that opposite arm and leg. And we'll just do about 10 more of these. And one more, and we'll hold it. Maybe easier on this side or harder. <laughs> but just notice how the body is responding. And we'll just hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Take a little bit of a rest, okay? And if your wrist is a little tight, you can swirl them around and even going the opposite way, okay? <clears throat> okay. And we're gonna come back to standing and we'll do those uh, frog squats so the knees are reaching out. So we're doing a lot of frog stuff today. It's spring, <laughs> so the frogs are probably nice and happy now, right? Good. And hands can be at the hip or it can be up here, okay? Wherever it feels good. So I'm gonna turn to my side so you can see how we're trying to maintain that beautiful length. Okay, hands can be here. Good, and you should feel the hip flexors working, the glutes, and the more you press on those heels, you can even bring those toes up to really make them work. Good. And let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hands here just stretch out those hips a little bit. Okay, so we got two more rounds. So let's go back down into our bird dog. Okay. And find that connection. Okay. Use the breath to really help you make that spine nice and long. Shoulders away from the ears. Good. And then we'll bring opposite arm, opposite leg. You can do the same thing we did last time. Or if you want a little bit more challenge, you can go out to the side and come in. Out to the side, come in. So trying to keep everything nice and still. Looking down at the ground. And let's do 10 more. One more. And once again, hold. Feel that Pilates shake. 
five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Yep, shake it out. Good. And we'll go to the other side, okay? So bring those shoulder blades down. Feel the length. Find that connection. One more breath. And once again, opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, you can go up and down or go out to the side. The goal is here is to keep everything steady so you only go out as far as you can keep your form. I'm dripping, so I hope you're dripping too. <laughs> It's reaching long, long. And let's do ten more. And one more. And then we'll hold it. So get those angel wings down. Reach it long. If you want to feel that calf, you can stretch that heel. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Good. Nice job, nice job. Okay, shake out those hands. And we'll go back into those frog squats. Okay, so toes to the corner and knees. And we'll put thumbs to heart. <laughs> we'll be praying. <laughs> okay, so um, you can continue with these deep squats here. If you want to challenge yourself in a different way, you can hold it down and just little, do little baby pulses and really feel these muscles working. Inhale, exhale. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Be sure you're nice and tall. And whenever these get tired, you can go back into um, the big frogs, right? Nice, beautiful length. I want you to feel those glute muscles working. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And let's challenge ourselves a little bit more, if you're up to it, for some little baby pulses, right? Little baby pulses. And the arms can be doing something if you want. But right now, this is enough for me. <laughs> I just want to make sure you're challenged enough. Good. And we'll just do five more of those. Five, four, three, two, and one, and come all the way up and go down. Maybe you can go down a little further, okay? Go down and really get those muscles working, keeping that spine nice and long. Good. Inhale and exhale. Yeah, we'll just do about five more of those. Good, and just shake it out. So we got one more set of these. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready, go back down. And once again, it's all about finding that connection. Okay, shoulder blades down. Here we go. It's reaching out, okay? And you can do a combination of the two. And we'll just do one more. And just hold it there for a second. And let's do the other side. Here we go. Reaching it out long. Out to the side. 
maybe up and down, out to the side. This is really good. <laughs> For our coordination. <laughs> good. And we'll just do a few more of these. Two more. And relax. Good. Shaking them out. Let's go back into those beautiful frogs. Okay, knees up and up and down. So let's get a little bit more range of motion to the side. Down and then to the side. Good. And now we're getting those obliques and starting to cool down with our little froggies. And you can just move around. <laughs> Whatever feels good. And if you don't like your hands over, then you can just keep it where it feels good. Maybe to the back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> good. It's all about making those muscles move. And maybe just play around with that. Maybe a little bit of circling. Okay. As we're working those hip flexors. Okay. And then from here, let's go down as far as we can and come up. We'll just do a couple of those. Okay. Good. One more. Good. Very nice. Okay. So let's just take those knees around. Okay. Really good for those hips. We work those hips really well. Very nice. And let's do a couple more in this direction and then we'll go the other way. And if you need a chair, you can get a chair or you can hang on to the wall or just don't make it as big. And let's do three more of these. Good. Shake it out. Get to do the other side. Uh, going in whatever direction feels comfortable for you. Don't forget to breathe. And let's do three more. And we'll reverse it. Okay? And just going at your own pace. I'm trying to get those synovial fluids working. And we'll just do five more. Good. One more. Very nice. Okay. And just bring those arms and work them out. Yeah. We worked really hard. So we want to make sure we're stretching them really well. Good. And maybe even picking up that leg and stretching it out. Okay. And we'll stretch out those calves. Yes, stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. Very nice. Okay, and we'll just finish it off with some deep breaths here. And just have your body cool down and let that sweat pour down. <laughs> I'm so very proud of you for making it today because you guys did a really super, super duper job. And as always, um, just come and check us out all the time because we all have exciting things uh, for you to do with your body. And I wish you well and lots of peace. Thank you.